Hey guys, so I'm all geared up, ready to go for my what's becoming a daily walk. Um, so I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, so a whole day has slipped by. Um, I guess I popped in briefly before I went for my walk this morning. Um, today I want to talk about, so I am a yoga teacher and for the last month I have been unable to do any yoga. Um, I want to make this a kind of short and sweet and quick story um, because a lot of the things that I'd really love to be doing for activity I have been unable to do. Um, in May I completed my fascial stretch therapy course um, which was fantastic but as I finished the course I I started having some pain in my wrist. Um, it was just, I was aware of it, I was continuing on, knowing that something was going on there, but I wasn't held back yet. Um, about a week later, I'm out climbing, one of the things I love to do, and I get this sharp pain throughout my entire arm. Um, up until about a week and a half to two weeks ago, I could barely do anything with my wrist. So this lasted, I think it was about a week where um, I had a hard time turning the key in my car. I had a hard time <laughs> pulling up my pants or, or pulling my pants down to go to the bathroom. Um, I was basically doing almost everything with my left hand. Um, I even journaled one day with my left hand because my right hand was just so wrecked. Um, so I only go to the doctor when I'm in absolute pain and I think, okay, maybe modern medicine has something to offer me. Um, so we have come to the cautious conclusion that in my right hand, um, there is a ganglion cyst. A ganglion cyst is, yeah, sorry about the bumpy road, um, a ganglion cyst is basically an accumulation of synovial fluid. Um, that kind of has like a pocket. So in here, it's kind of like a bouncy pocket. So the range in motion of my wrist is maybe on average about 45 degrees when it used to be 90. Like that's about as much as I get out of my hand. And if I put, whoop, <laughs> um, if I put pressure on it, then it, uh, it offers a lot of pain. Um, so I've been teaching my yoga classes um, completely verbally um, with any postures that my hands need to go on the ground um, which has really limited my own practice um, I haven't been able to climb um, and something that I've been really wanting to do over the last little while um, especially watching all of you guys in the Rod Till 4 world is getting on my bike cycling and I'm so worried about putting my pressure, even though it shouldn't be a lot of pressure, but I'm, I'm worried about putting my pressure on my wrist, on my bike. And so I haven't been doing that either. And for a little while, it was really getting me down. And so this is where um, earlier today, I was dropping in before I went for my walk. So I have been walking approximately five kilometers every day. Um, Athletic-wise, my cardio has always been the the weak point, the, the, the weak link. And so right now I'm walking um, to a point where my heart rate is between 130 and 140 beats per minute, trying not to get into that maximum heart rate zone, trying to be in the, the positive stress, not taking things to the point of it being a negative, um, really impactful, um, yeah, like, like really stressful on the body. So that's what I've been doing. And I've been going almost every day trying to get my body used to um, extended uh, activity. And um, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, on Thursday, I have a ultrasound to confirm or deny... <laughs> whether it is that I have a ganglion cyst or not. And um, that's kind of my story right now. And it, it really sucks that um, no yoga and no climbing is happening. But it's it's been a little, 
life lesson um, that I really need to take it easy and uh, find solutions when life presents a problem. So that's kind of my little story for today. Um, yeah. So why I haven't been doing yoga for a month, it, it sucks, but um, it's, it's life's little uh, challenge. So that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.